Hey everyone, Fox here with the new Marvel Avengers video, and apparently another time continuum ep uh, heroic battle is Kang versus Kang. It's pretty weird that they would put Kang as the final heroic battle, because it's good and bad. Good, you don't need command points. Bad, you need uh, maybe a good uh, empowered or ISO version to beat the other Kang. It's Kang, is, this is an annoying fight. Because it because if you're not fighting yourself, uh, and Empire I say is pretty good for Kang because it pretty much gets rid of the weaknesses that he has. So it's good and all if you have Kang. It's very bad if you don't have Kang. Freaking Krang. <laughs> I'll say Krang. Uh, if I fight the worthy teams. So, see, this is what the thing. He he's also got the empowered state that you're gonna get immune to bleeding, burning, chilled, obsolete tech, and very high crit resistance, which is pretty good for a Kang. Get that, and plus a very good agent, and you're you're set, I guess. But. So far, the one, the super villain plus agent doesn't really work in PvP. Uh, I don't see it working defensively. So, pretty much, you have to make sure you dodge everything. So, what you want to do is make sure you stay out of time. And most attacks do not hit this guy. So, you really want to use Maha Kalpa. This attack does the most damage against him, so this is gonna be the one. So let's um since I get two turns, I think does it counterattack? No, it doesn't counterattack. Let's get back. Next attack will be a buff. Switch out of time. I'm gonna get my shield. The thing is he gets a shield too, then that can be annoying. Let's do that. Now I was just thinking that I should get Soothing Rest for him at least, so when I recharge stamina I gain health. Okay, so maybe Neutralize can stop him from getting a shield. Time Displacement. I'll do out of time. Recharge stamina. I mean, it, uh, this is the second time I found him. It, it played out differently last time. It took forever for me to hit, do damage to him. But if you pretty much neutralized him and you put time stream, you can totally do a lot of damage like that. And it will really affect him. So let's see if that hits. Time stream displacement. Switch back. And make sure you hit him again when neutralized so he doesn't get his shield. That's the main thing. As long as he doesn't get his shield, you, you, you're good. I think it can work for someone who doesn't have Kang. Uh, gotta be stealthy, he can't counters. So... Switch back. Regain stamina. Okay, I messed up. Reduce potential at least. Lock out some of his abilities. Now he has a shield that that's gonna be problematic. But yeah, I'll be dodging everything. It just it just drags the fight longer than it should. I'll just do that instead. Action so I can charge them. Okay, so he cannot use any buff abilities. That does not count as a buff, sadly. But it stops him from using a shield. Uh, see if I can hit him when neutralized. Okay, that doesn't really stop the shield after all. But 
because it's already in effect. Mm. If this works, if not, no, no, no. Nope. okay. It's not a hard fight. It's just a matter matter of doing the right sequence of attacks and hoping that your level nine, if you don't have him, can beat him, or just putting up with a long fight. Overall, it's not a bad battle. I really like that in Paradise 8. It's pretty good. It pretty much makes him, you know, not as bad. Will be something to farm. Alright, so thanks for watching and uh, look forward for more.